how am I growing now? Very hard. Very hard. Since I... Uh, I don't know since when, since I'm back, you know, since I'm back, this is a plane. Since I'm back from uh, Goes, where my mom, uh, where I said goodbye to my mom, I kind of uh, uh, learned... I don't know how, but I learned some type of self-respect, like some kind of urgency to take care of myself that life is not eternal and that 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 it's very short actually and that it could be even shorter than very short my mom was 65 and um, you know it, it really really changed me at the core because I, I had all these uh, female friends, you know, and I made them, I think I made them because I, uh, I don't know, actually I don't know, but I'm not hanging out with them anymore. I had like two or three girls that really, I don't really want to hang out with anymore because I don't want the relationship between me and them because they didn't want to have sex with me, you know? And I don't want the relationship between me and them to be one-sided or in imbalanced. Imbalanced. And uh, you know, we were we were flirting and even doing some things, but it wasn't really balanced. And I was just. Bullying myself, teasing myself, letting myself. I know I was just teasing myself. It wasn't even the girls. It was just me teasing myself because I knew that these girls weren't going to be my girlfriends. And with all of them, I have kind of a feeling that they, 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 not using me, but it just doesn't feel balanced. You know, like you call me, I call you. You uh, invite me, I invite you. It wasn't like that, you know. It was just, they call me, they reply me whenever they feel like it. And I kind of was waiting for them. Trying with them, you know, trying to meet up with them. Like with, uh, with girls that I would pick up back in the day. And you know, why I, I befriended them after I quit pickup. I don't know why. But I remember John Cooping telling me that it was impossible to have female friends if you would always be on the hunt. So maybe I was I was trying to prove something to myself by befriending those girls, but it was not good for me. That's why I don't hang out with them anymore. And it makes me feel very strong and very powerful to just pull the needle out of my arm, which is a metaphor to, uh, to just uh, stop, stop giving me, stop giving myself this little bit of drug, you know, every time, this little bit of validation, little bit of physical contact, you know, just, just. Uh, No, just to get me going or something. I don't know why. I don't know what what it gave me, but some some kind of uh, some kind of I don't know. There were just not many girls in my life, and and that was just uh, a little dessert or something. Little dessert that I kept for for these moments where. Or I was really lonely or something. I don't know. But no more. No more. And I'm very proud. Very proud. Very happy with myself. This comes from the inside out. From the inside, I don't feel like it anymore. I don't feel like respecting myself now. Thanks for watching.